Hello and welcome to round 9 of the UNF1 Championship here for the Dutch Grand Prix at the Circuit Zandorf here in the Netherlands. I'm ROP and I'll be taking you to the track shortly, but before that, as the formation lap plays, I would like to let you know if you like what you see, why not like and subscribe? And if you're interested in joining us for Season 2, follow the link in the description and fill out the form on the website and who knows, we may see you out there for Season 2. So anyway, let's take a look at the starting grid. Well, as the formation lap comes to a close, I'm going to send him to the booth, so I hope you enjoy the highlights, and I'll see you after the race. For these 36 laps of the Grand Prix, uh, and the hard tires, they really do go for that lawn, and you don't expect it. You don't expect to go for the softs to hards, but the hards actually <laughs> might be on the same pace as the mediums, honestly. They're actually that fast, so uh, we definitely might see some very interesting strategies when it comes to uh, drivers going lawn, actually. They can even go softs mediums. That's an opportunity as well, so we'll have to see how that goes. Well, like I gotta say, Jonah, right before we start, sorry to jump on you there, but no this is the most exciting race for me of the year so far. Gotta say exactly the same thing as this is gonna be a thrilling Grand Prix. Uh, really excited as well. Uh, really excited to see what happens uh, for these 36 laps of UNF1. And uh, looks like we're gonna get it underway right now as the formation lap is officially ended here today. Cross Tommy starting on pole alongside Manuel Antus. And here we go, the fire red lights are out at UNF1 for round nine. It's lights out and away we go. Great start for the racing point and a great start for Cross Tommy. Covers the Williams behind there. And it looks, oh, bad camera angle there, but look at that. Oh, that's racing point being spun there. Is that toss my salad? That is, and look at the damage all over the track at turn one. So, I wouldn't be surprised for a safety car has been called out. Not at the moment, is there, it's a Ferrari Pepsi Freak and Survey for side by side through turn four as the full core safety car is out at lap, uh, or at turn four, already on lap one. Wow, and then after that, when the safety car came out, Cruidity drove into the back of Brevin and has some wing damage. He's pulling off the side of the road now. What a start. What a start indeed. But yeah, you were saying a lot of the guys have wing damage. Did you see how much carbon fiber was all over turn one? That was insane. That was a, there was a million dollars of carbon fiber down turn one there. <laughs> we had pieces of Ferraris and racing points and Red Bulls and all kinds of stuff. Very interesting. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's kind of how it goes, I guess, if you if you... If one car crashes, literally, like at, and this is, I think this is exactly what happened. One car crashed at the start, and it was like top five or something, uh, and then it caused everything else to start coming in. So, very interesting. Speaking of that one car, though, super unfortunate for Tosma Salad, down to 15 from what was it, fourth place, I think. And also right. got to mention Senato as well. Do you see what happened to him? He's out of the race and will not be taking part in this Dutch Grand Prix. I did not see what happened to Santo. He did, he also withdrew from qualifying and didn't run a lap. I thought maybe he was trying to do the last to first challenge, but it looks like he may have lost connection. Um, did you see Toss My Salad? It looked like he had a little bit of contact in the back and spun a little bit in turn one. Um, I would like to see the replay from his camera angle, but from what I saw, there was a little bit of contact there. I'm not sure if he caused it or somebody else caused it, but it was definitely uh, the turn one we expected. Meanwhile, though, safety car in this lap, the racing continues, and we are getting underway for the Netherlands Grand Prix here at Zanfor. It looks like Cross Tommy will lead him away into turn 15 now, and a great start for him. Uh, Manuel got a great start as well. Look at the pace he's got from Freddy too real. Freddy's got the uh, slipstream from the back of the pack. Look at that, Freddy Viola on Storm. Wow, Fretch is getting further up the table. He's up to possible sixth position. Storm tries to fight back. It looks like he's going to try and fight back. Toss My Salad is also involved in that. And it looks like Fretch is up to sixth. Wow, incredible. 
Oh, Toss my salad going on the outside there of VRT Storm. What a move by him, and what a read on it for that first lap spin. He's back in the action. Yes, that first lap spin did cost him quite a bit, but now the safety car has really saved his race now. And now he's going to try and make the move on uh, Freccia Viola and try and get back up into the top five of where he was at the start of the Grand Prix. So he hasn't actually lost a lot of time, the racing point. And that's very interesting. As Crudy just spun at turn, what was that? Turn nine, I want to say? Yes. Yeah, it's a tough day for Crudy's involved in that first crash. I mean, after the first crash, he ran to the back of the McLaren on, on the safety car. It's a tough day for him. As you saw him come out of that turn, it looks like he's building up, I think, to try to get him either on that short DRS zone in Sector 2, but uh, is my guess. That's where I would be going if I was him. And Francis goes super wide, actually. That might invite oh, Toss right to go for it. Oh, Freddy's just spun! Freddy's just spun! Something happened to Freddy. Did he hit the curb? He did hit the curb, I think. He's down to ninth position. Oh my goodness, the championship leader has just spun out of the podium and down to almost outside the points. Tough break for Freddy, and maybe we're seeing that gap in racing finally catching up with him in lap 5. Well, that is super unfortunate from our championship leader. Hopefully we can get back in the fight. Speaking of the fight, Toss My Salad is going on Freccia Viola, which is fifth position. Freccia doing an absolutely incredible job. But it might not be the, the best he can do right now because Toss is coming at him. Nothing Freccia can do, unfortunately. And he's going to have to wait and uh, to try and make that move back and get up into the top five once again. Freccia they definitely do. So maybe the advice right here is to go as long as you can, maybe on those uh, whatever tire you have on right now. Johnny's making a move for second around Manel. Oh, wow. Okay. I, didn't, I, I actually was... Uh, focusing on this guy. Oh my goodness, Johnny's gonna uh, have to defend. Oh, is there a little bit of damage too? Because Manuel just sent it down the inside and actually he's given the place back. And I think he actually got damaged due to that. So I gotta say that was me. Oh, actually, he didn't get damaged. I'm not sure what I saw there. Uh, that actually could have been one of the million dollars of carbon fire that was all over the track <laughs> at turn one, lap one. Uh, did you see what happened there with the Williams and the Racing Point? Um, Johnny had a lot of speed coming past start finish and went right around Manuel. Uh, oh! Manuel's just spun at, uh, or gone off in the track at turn six. Uh, sorry to interrupt you there, but uh, he's back oh, on track. Oh, no problem. Um, then Manuel, of course, made that dive, which seemed like a good move, but he probably backed up because he thought he had contact, and then they both locked up coming into the next turn. So I wonder if Manuel either spotted those tires or got his tires dirty in that move he tried to make on uh, Johnny, and that's what caused the spin there. Um, UNF1? They have content every single race, of course. Ooh, trouble, Ooh. trouble. Sorry to jump in. No worries, no worries. Brevin. Yeah, we have we have trouble on track. Yeah, Brevin, Brevin spun and turn one coming out of the pits. Uh, Paolo's about to go around and now. He's still on the softs as he locks up again. I mean, there's contact between the Ferrari and the McLaren. So oh, and nose what? Game oh. Sorry, I didn't what? <laughs> yeah, what? Oh! oh, whoa! Poor Paolo. What just happened there? I think he made contact with Bryven or no. They were going like three wide into turn five and the S is all that section. Uh, very interesting. Definitely can't go three wide through there and it looks like Paolo's point drought will continue there as he kind of got forced wide into the grass and spun. Uh, still no safety car though. Still no safety car. Yeah, that's going to be very interesting to see. Uh, let's just see exactly what's going to happen with the Williams driver. See if uh, I, I'm assuming you'll probably pit again and go for... Uh, well, okay, here's the thing. There's 20... Let's see, 20 laps remaining of the Grand Prix, do you believe? And uh, he's going to have to pit again, I think. And... Oh, hold on, hold on. Toss my salad is just spun at turn nine, that is. Oh, wait, and he's got a puncture. He's got a puncture. That's what's happened. He's got a puncture. What has happened here? He's trying to live it back to the pits. That left front is exploded. Wow, I have not seen that very often. Uh, 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 very often. It looks like what I, I kill for uh, a uh, replay right now, but we don't have that. It looks like what happened is he may have got the puncture and spun at the worst place, turn nine. And uh, you don't see that very often, do you? Definitely have to agree. He's gonna have to pit at some point. 
uh, if it's a safety car, if it's just the natural course of time of uh, just when that happens, you know, he's going to have to pit it someplace. Uh, move for fifth, though. Don and Pepsi. Pepsi makes the move on the Mercedes. The Mercedes is going to try to fight back. Uh, he has to concede to the Ferrari ahead. So, uh, yeah, the Mercedes driver behind of Don is going to have to pull back from that move and uh, probably probably pit soon because his tires are going off. It is incredible to see how that this has worked out. And actually, let's we talk about UNF1 for a second. What's your take on this league? It's just started out, and we've already got an incredible feel out here. We got a very heartwarming people that are in this league, uh, a very caring league, uh, a very successful league, and uh, yeah, this prestigious league is absolutely growing to one of the biggest leagues uh, right now, and I think this is incredible. So what's your thoughts on UNF1? It's just started, and yeah, what's your thoughts? Um, we got a lot of uh, we got a lot of momentum right now as Freddy tries to make a move on Pepsi for third. Yeah. Uh, he's all over his back end. Um, I'll, I'll okay. I'll answer your question. You jump in with the race whenever we get close. How's that? Sounds so, good. Uh, this speaking of defending, let's see if Pepsi can continue to do this. Freddy is just absolutely trying to get past the Ferrari right now, and he's giving it his all. But it's just Freddy. I mean, Pepsi gets better lines out of each corner. And I think he's just having a little bit more pace. Look at this, turn 15. He's got a little bit more pace. Oh, he makes a little bit of mistake. P Freddy's going to make the overtake right here. Got him. Yeah, that's all it takes. Looks like he's got it. Pepsi freak down the in, Or Pepsi Pepsi going to fight back, actually. These two always have a great battle. We're seeing it here today side by side coming down to the 3, 4, and 5. Or 4, sorry. Uh, Pepsi is going to go super early on that uh, entrance now. And uh, Freddy's going to get a nicer exit off of that. Pepsi's going to try and fight back, but he's got nothing to answer. He's actually going to try and make the overtake. Not quite yet, actually. So Pepsi has to wait to make that overtake once again. So Freddy finally gets past the Ferrari and up into the podium. That was an amazing battle. We were wheel-to-wheel -wheel through parts where you should never be wheel-to-wheel. -wheel. But Pepsi was doing a great job making Freddy pass him where Pepsi wanted him to try to make him pass him, if that makes sense. And Freddy just touched the grass right there at 15, opened up the door for Freddy to jump through. And Pepsi still almost held on to that position. I'm, I'm amazed he held on to it for that long. But he's round the final three corners now, and he's going to do it here today. Cross Tommy, an absolutely phenomenal race from pole to first, has been leading from start to finish. He won at Spain to take his first ever victory. He's done the second here today. Cross Tommy wins the Be the the Dutch Grand Prix. I was almost gonna say Belgian Grand Prix, but Cross Tommy wins the Dutch Grand Prix here today, and he takes his second win in UNF1. He takes it in a row. He took it at Spain, and now he takes the second here at Zandvoort. A beautiful drive, a wire to wire win. He's starting to show the rest of these guys he is legit. Wow, absolutely incredible for Cross Tommy. Another win on the board. This man as well, John, he takes second place. Very good points for him. Pepsi comes home for third with penalties for Freddy. That's very interesting. Uh, Freddy does come home in fourth, though, outside of the, outside of the podium. The Don's to fifth, Sir Vape for sixth. Manuel will probably come home in seventh. Toss Masao will probably come in eighth. And Fred Chaviola in ninth. Getting points for Mercedes, and Vapier Noah coming home in 10th, rounding off the top 10. As we take a look at the final results here, Cross gets his second win of the season, going for a third next week in Brazil, Pepsi beating Freddy by 9 hundredths of a second, and Toss is having a bad race, but still he gets the fastest lap. As we take a look at the rest of the results, VRT Storm outside the points on his debut race, Paulo in the no-point streak continues for him, and Brevin having a very bad race, and that's going to hurt McLaren and the Constructors. As Cross makes his way into the podium with Johnny and Pepsi, let's take a look at the driver standings. Johnny and Pepsi have eaten in the Freddy's points lead. Cross has eaten in the Johnny and Pepsi's points lead. And there's a very close battle for six with five drivers within nine points of each other. As we take a look at the rest of the standings, Etheon is outside the top ten as he's just fallen out. The Williams drivers Emmanuel and Sir Vape are looking to get into the top ten. And VRT Storm still looking for his first points. Hopefully he can get some next week. As we take a look at the constructors, Racing Point was able to shrink the gap with McLaren, Haas is able to shrink the gap with Ferrari, and sensing a pattern, Mercedes has shrank in the gap to Red Bull. 
Well, that should wrap things up here at Xandorth. Next week, UNF1 heads off to Brazil for round 10, so make sure to set your calendars to November 15th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 7 p.m. GMT. I'm ROP, and I'm signing off.